Hello, seventh grade. Today you're going to be creating your very own Padlet, which um, to help you know how to use it for another project. Today you're going to be practicing with this Padlet to tell us about an era of time after you read your article provided. So when you get to Padlet.com, you want to log in with Google, obviously, and I'll choose a Google account that doesn't currently have a Padlet. Um, okay, and so we have Basic, which is free forever, but you can only make three Padlets on it. That's still fine. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to choose Basic, free forever. Once you're there, right away, it pops up with something that I created the other day, but I didn't realize I had. So um, once you're logged in, that's fantastic. I'm going to want to go back to my account, though, so that you can see um, what it looks like from the home view. So once I'm in my home view, I can say make a Padlet. And so I'm going to make a Padlet, but I also want to note to you where it says join a Padlet. You're going to have that opportunity today, too, because you're going to work together in a group on one Padlet to save yourselves time and energy and allow you to be successful. So again, I'm going to say make a Padlet. Now today's Padlet, I know that though I'm going to be talking about one era, I'm going to be talking about several periods within that era. So it's really... It's really important that I choose the right one. And for me, it makes a whole lot of sense that I choose um, one that's going to put things in rows and allow me to have title boxes. So I'm going to choose the shelf this time. You don't have to. Um, I want you to choose one that seems logical to you, but shelf is what I'm choosing. So I'll go to the shelf Padlet. As soon as you make a Padlet, it always puts in a beautiful, fun background to you and usually makes some sweet well, comments. Pots and ice cream. Sorry, Finn had questions. But anyhow, once you're here, you're going to need to title your Padlet. So according, if if I were you, I would, you know, maybe put um, the period, the era of time that you are studying. So if you were the Paleozoic era, and then um, that would be fantastic. And then as your description, you want to make sure that your group members' names are all on there, okay? And so, um, great facts presented by, not create, great facts presented by, and then you could go ahead and put the names of people who are involved in making your Padlet, okay? Here, luckily, we have our address that's unique to your Padlet, so as soon as you feel like you're ready to publish it, you can just copy it to the clipboard. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's really easy to share your Padlet with this address, so you just say copy. Um, also, you can change your wallpaper. Obviously, ice cream cones doesn't exactly make sense when I'm talking about Paleozoic time period. So, you can just go with solid colors, gradients, textures and patterns, or pictures, whatever you would prefer. So make sure that you choose one that you believe is fitting and also <laughs> pleasing to your eye because we all know that appearance does matter. It just makes, um, it helps some of us learn better if things seem to be fitting. So once you find one that you're happy with, whether um, it's a picture or if it's just a pattern, that is fine. Um, just choose one that makes you, makes you happy and once you have it there, that is perfect. Um, okay, so you get your background. Again, notice if I just keep pressing back, I get to go back to all my settings. You have your color scheme. You can have it um, this way, or you can change it so that the um, it's more of a gray scale. I like the words more this way. You can also choose your font. Okay, now it says about posting. If you want to know who's posting in there, you can have your author's name above each post. I think that's a good thing, because that's going to allow me to see who all is helping with your group. Um, it says where do new posts appear? You can choose if you want them to be first or last. Okay, so you can change that around. If you want viewers to be allowed to comment on the post, I say yes. That way if your peers see it and they have questions, they can ask questions. You can also choose if they're allowed to grade it, like it, star it, or whatever. So if you want them to give um, stars or likes, go ahead and choose one. Okay, if you don't want them to be able to give any reactions, then leave it at none. Now, you do not want to have to require approval because that um, is a waste of your time. However, filtering profanity seems like a pretty logical thing. All right, so you'll go to next, and it says, awesome, you are all done, so start posting. All right, um, next thing we want to do is make sure all your group members can actually, you know, work on it with you. So you're going to want to add members, okay? And so to add members, you're going to just use their Google accounts because we just all created Padlets through Google accounts. So you could use, for example, I know that cmcmullen at hclc.info should be on here. Well, there we go. So now she and I, we can work together. And I'm going to be able to give her her administrative rights. Um, I have can read, can write, can edit, can administer. 
those all have different values, notice. So actually can administer is what all your group members should be allowed to have unless they lose those rights by being irresponsible. But you should check that decision over with Mrs. Roshke and I before you make that decision on your own. Where's all right, so you? once you've added the people that you want to add, you say save. And now your group members should all be able to work on this with you. Now you are finally ready to post. Because I'm not truly presenting one on the Paleozoic era, I'm going to make up some things here. But since I know that um, the Paleozoic era has multiple periods in it, I'm going to go ahead and put those periods here because that's a requirement. So we're going to call it the Finman period. All right. And then we're supposed to give a... Uh, you know, short description about what in the world occurs in that period. Um, so, you know, below that I might want to add the time when chaos ensues. Okay. Um, so, ta-da, done. Now I'd come over here and I'd have the E.B. Rose period. All right, so obviously this is very silly um, because this is not what I would do. But for you guys, you would have your periods and you're going to have a short description with it. Please notice, every time you add something, though, you don't have to just use words. Actually, you are welcome and encouraged to use other things. So you can have a snapshot. You can um, find an image from Google. You can take a snapshot with your camera, though I don't know how that would help you in this period of time, but maybe. Um, you can link to another Padlet that you already have, add a map. You can draw on your canvas. So there are lots of things you can do. You can upload a link that can take us to more information about your era or your period. Um, and you can add videos, okay? So these are all absolutely fantastic things that you can add to your posts to make sure that they're the most informative and so for example if I wanted to add an image of chaos okay I could short I could um, search that and see what comes up hmm these are not what I was looking for for chaos it seems a little odd but I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one and so that will be in there but notice anytime you add a picture or a video you should always have a caption you should have some words here that talks about it also notice it give me the opportunity for a title um, so you should, putting a title in there just really helps with understanding um, what you were trying to go for within your image. So if you, I, one more thing I wanted you to notice through that is if you went from Google, you don't have to just search for images. You can do videos, GIFs, audio, web. So you have a variety of things that you can choose from, okay? And so make sure that you are filling your page, your Padlet page, with a variety of ways for us to learn about the information because to be honest with you, we, I know that the reading that you read earlier was a bit dry. So let's make your pages not dry so that we are actually enthralled by what we hear and therefore maybe learn a little bit more, okay? So when that is done, um, please remember that the last thing you have to do is share, okay? So when you are done, we wanna make sure that it's ready to be shared, okay? And so you just simply say copy link to clipboard, okay? I don't need you, any, you sharing it on um, Facebook or Twitter, but you can share it directly to classrooms, so that's pretty cool. Um, and so you can share it great right to your stream. Notice this um, is an assignment, so you're going to want to go ahead and share it, get the link, and then when you turn in the assignment, you just attach that URL that you just copied. Okay, and the way that you attach that is you click on the image that looks like a link like this, and you say Command V or Control V, and it will attach that link. I hope this video helps you all to successfully make a Padlet today. I look forward to seeing what you create.